whether it's health research, information and communications technology, finance and banking, or even climate forecasting, mathematical and scientific skills are the backbone of modern societies. Research shows that investment in tertiary education in Africa could be the fastest route to technological catch-up and economic development. Although thousands of students graduate from African universities each year, specialist training is generally unavailable, particularly in science and technical fields. This critical scarcity of mathematical and scientific expertise is adversely affecting all aspects of development, which spawned the birth of the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences, AIMS. Founded in Cape Town, South Africa in 2003, AIMS is a pan-African network with centers of excellence for postgraduate education, research and outreach in mathematical sciences. AIMS is different than any other educational um, operation in Africa, primarily because the student body is pan-African. So the idea is extremely simple. Bring together the brightest students in any area of science which uses mathematics. Bring them all together with uh, top international lecturers from around the world in a facility which provides 24-7 access to uh, excellent computing facilities, uh, internet, a library, uh, good food and accommodation and give them the chance to become young scientists. So we're training young and African scientists to be able to uh, formulate their own problems and to be able to design their research topics to have maximum impact. Mathematical sciences is important because it has been, at the beginning, it has been uh, the determining factor of what Europe West uh, witnessed as industrial revolution. Without mathematical sciences, you wouldn't have the Silicon Valley revolution. We have light today because at some point uh, there has been breakthrough uh, in, uh, in the field of science and particularly in mathematical sciences. We have today uh, AIMS alumni, some of our alumni working on Ebola, trying to bring in the mathematical skills to help solve that problem. We have some of them working in other area of uh, health, uh, including uh, HIV, malaria, schistosomiasis. We recently uh, got a named alumna from Kenya who developed a performance assessment tool using her mathematical skills. And that tool is being used by the private equity banks uh, she's, as we speak, working in Washington, doing something that is relevant for Africa. Yes, we have research centers to enhance what we're doing as a training environment. We have uh, an industry initiative where many of our graduates will hopefully enter into the market through this interaction. And we have a school enrichment center for the professional development of teachers and the training of teachers-to-be. Its mission is simple to enable Africa's brightest students to flourish as independent thinkers, problem solvers and innovators capable of propelling Africa's future scientific, educational and economic self-sufficiency. My course here at AIMS, I had the privilege to learn to solve the problems of life current by using mathematics. The mathematics are vast, but with the course that I've seen here at AIMS, we taught à résoudre n'importe quel problème, voir quelle méthode de mathématiques qu'il faut appliquer à un problème concret. Et utiliser aussi euh, l'informatique comme un outil supplémentaire à la résolution des problèmes. AIMS is more of a guided thinking experiment where rather than you being told what you should know, you are given pointers and points on the map and you are allowed to map up your own course and learn and it was rigorous in terms of thinking and rigorous mathematical thinking where you just didn't memorize equations or memorize proofs but you were led through the thinking process and said okay if this is a problem how do we solve this problem operating in partnership with african and international universities aims provides an innovative and relevant curriculum within an exceptional 24-hour learning environment hosted by top international academics
this postgraduate training and research and a stimulating environment provide advanced, broadly applicable mathematical skills to talented students recruited from all over Africa. The reason I came to Ames was I wanted to study in a, in a different education system and I wanted to study in an environment that was, uh, that was training people for Africa, for the benefit of Africa. When I arrived at Ames, I, I found an environment full of young people from different parts of Africa and they really encouraged me to work hard. I have to say the experience has been challenging <laughs> because every day you face a new problem, a new mathematical problem that you, it's hard to solve. So every day it's a challenge and we actually say that AIMS means, the, AIMS means African Institute of Missing Sleep. And, but I think this is good because through this you are able to build your independent thinking and also you work in a group and by working in a group you get to interact with people who have great ideas and to learn from them. Over the years, Ames has made an incredible impact. Over 900 students, of which 30% are women, from 42 African countries have graduated from Ames South Africa, Ames Senegal, Ames Ghana, Ames Cameroon and Ames Tanzania. In most of our African countries, 51-52% of the population are women. And as I usually say, you cannot pre uh, pretend to live happily by depriving yourself of half of your brain. So having women in science is not doing favor to women, but it's doing, doing justice to our nations and, and uh, to women. The majority of the alumni also enroll directly into master's and PhD programs after AIMS at reputable institutions. And AIMS graduates are now strengthening many African universities, research centers, government and industry. Sustained investment in mathematical sciences is absolutely vital for Africa to prosper. And the AIMS vision is to have a network of 15 centers across the continent by 2023. We have several kinds of partners, you know, we have government partners, we have private sector partners, we have individuals, we have host country governments in Africa, you know, who are partners. And it's because um, not only is the return on investment obvious in terms of what we do, but let me talk a little bit about our host country government partners. Many of the African governments have uh, plans and policies and implementation. And it was really exciting for me last year to hear one of our in-country government partners say, through AIMS, by investing in AIMS, we are actually providing a vehicle that would allow them to operationalize their policies and their plans. One of the most compelling reasons why we wanted to support AIMS is because of our shared vision. AIMS is a unique, not only for the kind of education that it offers and the mo its model of education, but it's absolutely unique for believing and embodying the fact that Africa's challenges will be solved by young people. AIM is locally grounded. It's looking at science at the highest level in mathematical and physics sciences. It serves as the backbone of the industrial and technological development of the country and therefore it promised to bring greater future to Africa as a whole. The next Einstein is going to be African. There's no doubt in my mind for three reasons. You have a growing dynamic young continent. The next Einstein is going to come from that pool. It's a matter of probability, but that probability to me is a certainty. Second, the next Einstein is going to come from Africa because most of African brightest people, African young people are curious. They are excited about knowledge. They want to learn. They want to know. They want to discover. They are hungry for science. And we have um, a leadership in Africa that has understood the relevance and the importance of science and they're willing to do anything in their power to make that happen. With that conducive environment, with the power of youth demographics on the continent and with the hunger of young people for science, the next time science is going to come from the continent. We thank all for their invaluable support.